7th standard how are you all doing well be safe day by day the covid 19 is increasing so be safe now uh, as the time you be safe you should also study well okay do not forget to do your duty okay so last test you have done well i have seen your marks most of you have done well well and good this time we will do it much better okay okay to start with you must have this book apre no le français volume 2 if you don't have this book buy this try to buy this in case if there is some challenges in buying get this book from your nearest friend okay you can just take two lessons as the xerox copy and have it with you now today we are going to see three topics one is choose true or false and question answers second topic is e verbs and third topic is pronunciation at the end of the video you might be having a test so listen to the video very carefully and have a pencil with you whenever i say the answers alone you mark it on your book other than that you must look at the video alone not your book don't look at your book down and see the video just follow the video whenever i say the answers alone just put a tick mark example if you it is choose just put a tick if it is true or false put v or f and upon that you can mark it in your french passage okay let's start have a nice day now we are going to see the exercise based on this lesson voilà le frère et la sœur the manual okay these are the exercise but before going into these exercise we must be little bit thorough with the passage so that we can complete this exercise first one is complete avec un mot des mots du texte second one is vrai ou faux third one is répondre so we are going to finish all this three now so we are just going to see the first exercise complete avec un mot des mots du texte to complete this exercise we must know little bit about this parts of the body which is given here on the right side so you should know what is the parts so for eyes what we will say les yeux here they are telling about the hair les cheveux here they tell telling about the leg les jambes arms les bras and here the teeth les dents so having these vocabularies we have to complete this exercise okay now as i as we go to exercise number 2 what we will do is we will read the passage and then we will go to exercise number 2 so exercise number 1 we can do with this image itself la fi a le dash brown so among this photo who's the fi here is the fi so what looks brown in color here or eyes so what do we tell for eyes les yeux les yeux le la fi a les yeux brown so if you don't know the spelling for yeux here is the spelling les yeux y e u x so that is the answer for the first one second one le dash the den is so long so whatever seems to be long the body parts which is given here is leg and hands so they are telling the legs what is legs in french les jambes les jambes de denis sont long if you don't know the spelling for jambe the spelling for jambe is here j a m b e s les jambes de denis j a m b e s les jambes de denis okay il a le cheveux court cheveux court means short hair the boy has a short hair here right so 
that is the answer the spelling for shiver is here say hash a way a u x shiver that is the answer for the third one fourth one le dash son blanche what is white in color le don so what is the spelling for don d e n t e s spelling for don is not available in the passage so i am spelling it out t e n t s d e n t s le dash the den is so for okay the arms right for means strong so libra let me see if the passage as libra libra the den is so or see long you can use this libra b r a s that is the answer for the fifth one okay now we are going to exercise number 2 dit brave for le frère de manuel a piti if we want to find out the answer we have to just go and check the passage if the sentence is there le frère de manuel a piti see the sentence starts like voilà un garçon et une fille le garçon il s'appelle denis loving c'est le frère de manuel okay il a 16 ans il est grand a4 but what they are given is le frère de manuel a piti but what you are given is grand so first one answer is 4 the spelling of 4 is right there on the top here 4 this is the answer f a u x number 1 4 number 2 les yeux de catherine sont bleu the eyes of catherine is blue in color see l a les yeux bleu so the same sentence is repeating in here point number 2 so is it true or false true right so vre v r a i vre now we will go to the third one le cheveux de catherine sont long et brun le cheveux de catherine sont long et brun let's see what it is given in the passage okay hal a le cheve long okay one point is correct a blanc okay here it is given blanc blend color but here it is given brown color so there is a difference so one is right and one is wrong so the totally when we see it is wrong right so the answer for the third one is four il fait dispute avec son frère et sa sœur fourth one il fait dispute means this is a general question that you can fight or dispute with your brother and sister is it true or false you can tell me are you supposed to fight with your brother no so what is the answer the answer is four f a u x il parle espagnol espagnol means spanish in this passage is there anything given about espagnol no they have given about anglais et français and what about the sister no they have not mentioned anything about espagnol so they might be speaking only english and french so what is the answer for fifth one four so first one the answer is le frère de manuel epeti four second one it is vrai third one it is four fourth one it is four and fifth one it is four so the only answer which is true is second one okay now this is how we have to search from the passage now we are going to search a few more things that is répondre aux questions Comment s'appelle le garçon qui est sa sœur? A very simple question. What is the name of the boy and who is his sister? Okay, 
Le garçon, il s'appelle Denis Leving. See, the answer is here. Le garçon, il s'appelle Denis Leving. Point number one, the name of the boy, we found out, that is, il s'appelle Denis Leving. So, you can just copy from here. Il s'appelle Denis Leving. Qui est sa sœur? So, you have to take out this key. Key means resembling a person. And, you have to write Catherine Leving. C'est la sœur de Manuel. So, Catherine Leving Esa sir. You have to write only Catherine Leving here. You have to take out the key and you have to write Catherine Leving. What is remaining? Repeat the same and keep a dot. Catherine Leving A Sa Sir. So this is question number one answer. Question number two answer. Como son le frère et la sir? They are asking how the brother and sister are. Are they good? Are they bad? Are they very close? So the behavior of the both the brother and sister. Le frère et la sœur sont très proches. Le frère et la sœur sont très proches. That means they both are very close to each other and they are good. Okay. So this is the answer. So with this we have seen exercise number 1, 2 and 3. If you have uh, not marked down the answers rightly, you can just repeat the video and you can see the answers, okay? Now, next we will see the ER verbs. I am going to teach you ER verbs, but before going to ER verbs, let us see how many types of verbs are there in French and then we will go to ER verbs, okay? So, as you see, as you see, there are three group of verbs. So, first group of verb, it is called as ER verb. So, as you have seen here, verbs whose infinitive ends in ER. Okay, this is first group verb. So, that means all the endings will be in ER. Okay, now the second group verb, that is IR verbs verbs whose infinitive ends in ir so if the infinitive is in, ends in ir it is called as ir verbs and it otherwise called as second group of verbs and third group that is the ending which is in re verbs whose infinitive ends in re so if the verb has the ending r e it is third group verb and there are few more verbs that is irregular verbs irregular verb is nothing but if the radical changes and that is called as irregular verbs but if it is regular verbs the radical will not change I'll explain you what is a radical when I start teaching this Okay, now, rappelons les verbes en ER. Let us recall the ER verbs. So, already you know few ER verbs that you have learnt in 6th standard. Now, I am just going to tell you what are the exceptions. All regular verbs whose infinitive ends in ER belong to this group, except aller. So, aller verb, you know, that alone will change because the conjugation is Je vais, tu vas, il va, elle va, nous allons, vous allez, ils vont, elles vont. So, that is the different one. But here what we are going to say is ER verbs. Normally ER verb, what is the ending? You know, right? The present tense of all ER verbs is conjugated by removing the ending and adding E, ES, E, ONS, EZ, ENT to the radical of the verb. So now we are going to see what is radical and what is the root. For example, if infinitive, the verb P A R L E R. So what I said ER verb is here. See, the word is ending with ER. So apart from this ER, what is left out? The left out thing is P A R L. So this is the radical. Okay. Here the, both the verbs are conjugated. See, whatever is added, it will be in 
red red color but the radical will remain the same so for example parle verb je parle p a r l is in black color right so e which is added is red in color so that means the radical p a r l radical remains the same and other endings alone is added to er verbs so i have taken out the er and added e es e ons ez and ent so these things are just first person second person and third person what is given in the center is singular and the right side is plural another example with a verb which starts with a vowel that is abite here see what they are given note j is shortened to j apostrophe before vowels and silent h so jabit here it is a consonant p is a consonant so what we have added is what we have added is e but here h is a vowel so it becomes j apostrophe other than that everything is the same for example h a b i t e r so if i take out the e r what is left out h a b i t so that is the radical so the radical will remain the same jabit tu habit il habit elle habit nous habitons vous habitez il habit elle habit now you might have a question how to pronounce it there are only three pronunciation one is parle parlon parle whatever the sound which i give to je parle the same sound will repeat tu parle il parle elle parle il parle elle parle the second sound is nu parlon and the third sound is vu parle the same way je bit tu bit il bit elle bit il bit elle bit the second sound is nu zabito the third sound is vu zabite so hope you understood now let us see this through a ppt for a better clarification okay now in this ppt we are going to see how to conjugate regular verbs in the present tense this is for your understanding okay a regular verb is one which follows a regular pattern there are three types of regular verbs in french already i have said er example regarder écouter chanter manger danser parler jouer ir verb just two examples then of finir and choisir and re verbs that is example is attendre so there are three verbs three types of verbs in french er ir and re now we are going to see one verb that will end with er ending how do we conjugate a regular verb ending in er just as simple as i said uh, take off the er and add the following things so last class you have learned pronoun suje no you remember that nothing nothing but the subject je tu il elle nous vous il elle this is pronoun suje so in case if you get je as your subject what you have to add you have to add e to the ending in case if you add tu what is the ending es il e nous O N S V U E Z. Now we are going to see an example. Okay. First, choose your personal pronoun. Je, tu, il, elle. That is step one. Then take off the E R and add the correct ending. Regarde. This is the example I am going to show you. So pronoun suje. I have added everything. Je, tu, il, elle. No, V U E L. Now. regard now whatever we have repeated that is regard r e g a r d e r in this i have taken e r out that is given in red color what is remaining r e g a r d so regard everything is a radical so it is repeated 
so this is the main point of regular verb in regular verbs the radical keep repeating the same the radical spelling will not change now we are going to add the ending okay what we are supposed to add je means e added tu es il e al e on e nu o n s vu e z il e n t al e n t now this is the thing so what i have done is i have added the endings e e s e e e o n s e z e n t so this is how we have to conjugate the regular er verbs now what about the sound three sound sound number 1 is regard sound number 2 is regardon sound number 3 is regardé so i repeat the sounds je regard tu regard il regard elle regard on regard nous regardons vous regardez il regard elle regard so hope you understood this uh, regular er verbs ending based on this you will have an exercise in the following week so just revise well and uh, if possible try to conjugate few er verbs on your own okay you guys remember this uh, image uh, which i have taught last week so just before getting into this exercise i am just going to explain you once again for your remembrance so le pronom personnel sujet le pronom personnel sujet that is nothing but the subjects so which is given on the left side is singular and the right side is plural so what is the first person i i in french is always called as je je j apostrophe okay okay now in case if the verb has a ending e just now we saw the regular verbs right if the verb is ending with e that means in pronoun sujet you have to add je if the ending is es tu if the ending is again e it should be il or al in case if the ending is o n s you can add nu if it is e z you could add vu <coughs> if the ending is e n t you can add i l s or e l l e s so i think this is enough now shall we see the exercise here is the exercise so this is exercise number 1 lesson 1 what they have given como go sorry complete on utilisant les pronoms sujet so just now we saw what is pronoun sujet that is je je apostrophe tu il elle nous vous il elle okay now we are going to find what is the answers for this you can take down the answers one by one you can keep your book ready and uh, you can have a pencil with you as i say the answers you can mark i'll do just first five and i'll ask question from 6 to 10 okay now number 1 dash parlons français so now our job is to choose a correct subject from this line and we have to replace here so what is the clue which is present there so the clue is from the verb parlons verb okay now the word is parlons when do we get a uh, ending o n s do you remember okay i'll show you okay parlons when do we get o n s when the subject is no right am i right okay 
so whenever we get a ending o n s the subject will be no so what is the answer the answer for this one is no no parlons français no parlons français so the answer is no second one dash abit a lyon dash abit a lyon so out of this what we are going to choose once again we will go and see the tableau column now just note down the spelling h a b i t e okay where do we word h a b i t e so there are three places where we can see the ending e one is here the another one is e labit a labit so you can put any of these three either you can put j apostrophe or you can put e or you can put l so that is your wish all the three answers are correct so now i am not going to show you the tableau column you are going to try this on your own point number 3 dash am le free so based on the ending you have to tell me what is the right answer so what is the ending the ending is es when the ending is es what is the subject the subject must be chu the subject must be chu because if it is e the subject is je if it is es the subject must be chu so what is the answer for the third one chu okay this one is a irregular verb this we studied in sixth standard fourth one ai what verb is this any guess this is a avoir verb do you remember avoir conjugation je chua ila al a nous avons vous avez ils vont allo okay now so when do we get ai whenever it is j apostrophe where is j apostrophe okay this is the answer for the fourth one okay now shall we go on to the fifth dash on un chien okay first we have to recognize which verb is this is it adverb verb or avoir verb it is avoir verb because if it is adverb verb it will be s o n t right okay so it is avoir verb just now we have revised avoir verb so when do we get o n t in avoir verb yes either it should be il or al i l s or e l l e s only for this two subject we will get o n t so you can put this or this both are correct okay now sixth one i said you must try right so i'll give you three choices and you have to tell me the right answer dash parler français now i'll give you the help of the tabular column just note down the verb here p a r l e e z okay so the verb is ending with ending e z now see the tabular column where is e z in this tabular column have we found out okay here it's not there so here yeah it's there so have you found out yes exactly for vu for the subject vu you have e z parle vu parle so how many of you found out the answer correctly so vu is the right answer so sixth one what is the answer vu now i am not going to show you the tabular column you are going to try it on your own okay this is nothing but a reflexive verb sapale okay we don't worry about the s apostrophe and just don't get confused only thing you have to do is you have to see the ending when do we get e as an ending either the subject should be je il or al so now you have three options you can choose any one among this but you should also see the name 
डैश सपेल इसेबेल इसेबेल इस बॉय नेम और गर्ल नेम गर्ल नेम सो इधर द आंसर शुड बी ज और एल इफ इट इज अ बॉय नेम यू कैन एड ईल अंडरस्टूड ओके सो इधर द आंसर शुड बी एल सपेल इसेबेल और ज नाउ पॉइंट नंबर टू इफ इट इज ज द रिफ्लेक्सिव वर्ब यर वॉट यू विलकम एम अ पोस्ट ऑफ विलकम राइट सो ज इज ऑल्सो नॉट एक्सेप्टेड सो द ओनली आंसर विच इज एक्सेप्टेड यर इज एल सो एल सपेल इज अ बेल नाउ वील गो फॉर द एथ वन Hope you understand the seventh one. There are three possibilities when we get a e as a ending. So first we are checking j is it suiting and e or l. So secondly we are checking either j is also applicable for this reflexive verb. So it's not applicable. E if it it's not applicable with the name which is given because it's a girl's name given. So only option is l. Eighth one. Dash travail bien. Some used to say this as travail long. No, it's wrong. So since it is a er verb, only three sounds are there, right? Travail, travaillon, travailler. So this is travail. Now, when do we get the ending ent? Ent will normally come for third person plural. What is third person plural here? So I'll give you a tabular column again. See when do we get e n t? O n t. Either it should be masculine plural or feminine plural. That is i l s and e l l e s. So you can put i l s or e l l e s. Ninth one. Dash son and the end. Il son and the end. Dash son and the end. S O N T is a adverb, so il son and the end. Last one is shant. Yeah, as I said, if the ending is e, you can add j e or il or l. Je chante une chanson, or il chante une chanson, or elle chante une chanson. All three are correct. Okay. Now I am going to read out this sentence one by one. Nous parlons français. J'habite à Lyon. Tu aimes les fruits. J'ai deux frères. Ils ont un chien. Vous parlez français. Elle s'appelle Isabelle. Ils travaillent bien. Elles ont un chien because E S is here. Double N E S, so it is feminine plural. But before we guessed, it is I L S or E L L E S. No, it is only E L L E S. Okay. Je chante une chanson. That's it. With this, we are ending this session. So hope you have to revise this once again to make it comfortable for you. So just do well and uh, have a good day.